What's up guys, Brian back from the PT channel here to talk about physical therapy school, interviewing process, getting accepted, getting kind of be put yourself ahead of the game, and what to expect really with the PT interview process itself. Uh, myself, I've been a therapist for over seven years now, and it's been <laughs> different for me for the interview process because I had a phone interview with one school, and I had a face-to-face -face interview, one-to-one -one interview at another. Um, then I meet with other students, potential candidates, people that talk like that, and I learn kind of what some schools are doing now. And it's kind of crazy for me to think about it, but some schools are doing group interviews. Now, that's going to suck. Um, I don't recommend doing that. And you kind of want to know what their interview process is beforehand, because I always thought that it would be a one-to-one -one interview with you and a faculty person, or you and maybe a couple different faculty people. But it's just you being asked questions by them. And some of the standard questions that I have are, or that they, they ask you are, just some notes here, what can you tell me about yourself? Why are you interested in physical therapy? What is your biggest strength slash weakness and why? Why should we accept you? Which is a nice general one. Um, and that's kind of another good way to do it, um, to ask you questions about different things in general, but also why would we accept you? Why should we accept you on there too? Um, based on your answer, your poise, your eye contact, it's going to make a big difference on there. It might not be what you say, but how you say it as well. So the other things you said, why do you want to be a physical therapist? What type of a learner are you? What are your plans if you are not accepted into the program? How do you handle conflict? Give a specific example and describe the conflict and how it was handled. Give an example in which you took a leadership role. So that's kind of some, <laughs> some general guidelines that I have written down here and, and questions that people are asked during uh, you know, interviews for PT school. And I know myself, I drove to my PT school and had an interview with them and sat down with them, I got a tour of the campus and everything, and then went in one-to-one. -one. And I remember they asked me you know, general questions, and I thought I did well, but then they gave me the, what's your biggest strength and what's your biggest weakness? you know, question. And you don't, you don't want to say like, oh, well, I'm a great person. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. You don't want to come off too cocky. And then you don't come off weak either. So the big thing with that is that I struggled with giving a weakness. I didn't know what my weakness was. You don't want to say, oh, well, uh, I suck at this and I'm terrible at that. And I'm not, you, you want to say like a weakness that doesn't make you look too bad. And I was like, well, I hate this question. I thought, well, well, procrastination could be a weakness. I remember she said, that. well, I think everybody procrastinates a little bit. They put it off, they put it off and they see what they can do with as little less time before it is actually to do like a paper or something or studying or whatever. But you know, you want to say, oh, I procrastinate a little bit or whatever, but you know, my weakness, I don't know, maybe I worry too much about things, I overanalyze things, I, I think about things too much, I freak out about little things like tests and practicals and everything where I need to calm down a little bit. And with that, you know, I don't know, I, I was different when I was in high school, then I was in college, and then in grad school, and now I'm a licensed therapist. It's different. It's totally different at all. But I can't fathom the fact that I would be in a room with other potential candidates and they ask a general question to the group, and you have to answer it. You have to fight for time. You have to basically push the other people away and let me answer the question, make me, make me get above them, and let me see, oh, how I can set myself above these people and make you should accept me and not them. Don't take any of them except me. And that's terrible because you're putting yourself above someone like that too, and that's not the role of a therapist. A therapist is, is to put yourself second to the other people. And the, to make yourself look better than someone else is just terrible. I don't ever want to be known as put, putting someone down for my gain. That's terrible. And then the question would be, so I never had to do a, a personal interview with other people in it. But you know, I've talked to a couple potential candidates lately, and I talked to a therapist that she had, a, she had an interview like that, and I think it was for UAB in Alabama. And... I would, I would want to know that firsthand. So if you're contacting a school or emailing someone like that too, I would say, what is your interview process like and will it be one-to-one -one with a faculty and myself or will it be a group interview? Because if I, if I have a group interview, I'd probably rule that school out right away because I don't want to be treated like cattle and I, want to be, I don't want to be treated like I'm just a number to these people. And for a school to do a group interview, that's just lazy. That's just pure laziness. Let me link people in right away with that. Let me just group four or five people in. We could knock out a bunch of candidates at once, and that's it. 
For other schools, they'll just look at your GPA, your GRE, and that's really it. So I know people that have, have decent GREs and decent GPAs, but they're great therapists. And I know people that are great that are great book smart people. They have high GPAs in my have a 4.0 GRE of a high score, and they're terrible therapists. They can't even talk to people. They have no clinical skills and no communication personal skills with that. So you have to be both. You gotta be book smart, test smart, people smart, street smart, paperwork smart, everything to be a good therapist. So the interview process, expect the good general stupid questions like that again. Or they ask you that, I'll go over them again briefly. But what can you tell me about yourself? Why are you interested in physical therapy? What is your biggest strength slash weakness and why? And why should we accept you? So get some game plans, talk about it out. What's a good answer for those to talk and see what other people think of how you would answer those. And the other ones are, why do you want to be a physical therapist? What type of learner are you? What are your plans if you're not accepted into the program? How do you handle conflict? Give a specific example and describe the conflict of how it is handled and give an example in which you took a leadership role. So those guys were some of the typical questions that would be asked during a PT interview. Get some game, get a game plan for what your responses would be like so you won't be flustered about it on there too. Have a game plan, talk it out, calm down, kind of role play the interview process. If you feel like you'll be nervous, take a couple step backs, kind of be prepared for what it would be, and find out if the interview is a group, one-to-one, -one, or what beforehand, and if you can control that or if you can you know, really want to go forward with that or not. So find out that information beforehand and put you at ease, and you'll, you'll know what to expect a little bit. That's always, that's always my general rule for it, and it helps me out, I know. So always, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We appreciate you checking out the video, and thank you.